Whenever we engage difficult topics like science and religion, things we care about are called into question and it can become quite scary. I myself am not entirely sure how evolutionary biology can line up with the doctrine of original sin. I don't know the answer to that. That makes me nervous. It, 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 it makes me afraid. And yet, ultimately, am I to rely on my own intellect to resolve this? Am I to rely on the intellect of other scholars and researchers to resolve this all for me? Ultimately, my faith isn't in princes or princes of men or, 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 or the principalities and powers. The psalmist is constantly remembering that ultimately our faith and trust is in God. And that's what allows the psalmist in the midst of the tension and fear to continue to praise and trust that God will resolve it. Now that doesn't mean we don't have a role to play. Our role to play is precisely to testify to the goodness of God even when we don't know. That's what Jesus does in the Garden of Gethsemane. He doesn't know. He knows he's the Son of God and he knows the Father is good. But in the face of death, boy, I'm not sure about this anymore. But but he still trusts the Father. So when we come to the points of unknowing, how do we respond? Do we respond with violence, fear, drawback, scarcity, division? Or do we say, I trust the goodness of God, not in replacement for the truth, but as the means to pursue the truth. And the truth of the world is ultimately Jesus Christ, more than this scientific fact or that scientific fact, or this theological fact or that theological fact, because all things hold together in Christ, who's the way, the truth, and the life. And so, when we are afraid, the Psalms teach us how to rely on the goodness of God. Jesus exemplifies that absolutely and shows the victory of God over the powers of death when we situate ourselves as Christ did. Christ's absolute reliance on the goodness of the Father is vindicated in his resurrection. When we enter these dialogues, if we are afraid, if we trust in the goodness of God, we trust that the Holy Spirit will bring forth a new thing. The Holy Spirit will bring forth truth where we couldn't see a way forward and that all things will indeed be revealed to hold together in Christ. In that mode, we can pursue truth more robustly than anybody. Christians shouldn't be afraid, even if they don't have a way through, because that's been promised to us already. And if death can be overcome, again, our fears about evolutionary biology, small potatoes.